Well, we have two superstars on with us now, Sarah Bareilles and Renee Elise Goldberry. Ladies, thank you for coming on. Nice to see both of you. Good morning, Sarah and Renee. Good morning. Good morning. So, all right. Now, we go back, back, Sarah and I. Renee, we don't go back so far. But <laughs> I was, and I obviously I know of all of your work, but I was reading articles about your new project together, which we're going to get to. Did you know that you have, for Girls 5 Ever, a 100% on Rotten Tomatoes? When 100%. I saw, I saw, when I saw that, my husband said, the computer must be frozen. There must be an accident. <laughs> well, I, I, you know, I didn't even understand. I, I use Rotten Tomatoes. I act like I know what it means, and I throw it around all the time. But then today, I literally decided to go find out what it is. So thank you for my research project. I found out what it is. Um, basically, they take all of the, the reviews, right, and they curate them together to come up with this score. And the whole thing started as a hobby for these people. And it's become now the, the, the almost the, yeah. the, the way that you're told whether or not something is good yeah. if you need that. And you guys got 100%. So if you want to thank wow. them, I have all their names and I have photos of them right here, everybody on the Rotten Tomatoes <laughs> staff. I'm going to send them all wine and sh champagne. I'm, I'm, I can't believe it. I'm so grateful. It's very, I was gonna very just write exciting. a thank you card. That's a classier gift than I was going to do. <laughs> <laughs> um, hey, let's let's uh, uh, talk about each of you individually for a second, and then we'll get to the project you're doing together. Um, Sarah, I saw you're releasing this live album coming up soon, right? Yeah. May twenty first. May twenty first. Yeah, we did. So it was recorded at the end of the Amidst the Chaos tour, which was the end of twenty nineteen. Which for so many artists out there, that was the last time we were all on tour. And we had all the intentions of putting it out last year. And then of course, last year happened. It and happened. Um, now it feels like this beautiful little time capsule. So um, as we're kind of on the verge of things reopening and audiences being welcomed back into venues, it feels like the right time to put it out there. And yeah. It's exciting it. just to read news like that, isn't it? Oh, something's happening like that. It's exciting. It just... It shows us where we are and where we're, we're going. And another sign, Renee, is Broadway's coming back. Uh, Hamilton, The Lion King. Yes, yeah, September they announced. That's a very exciting. I can't, I can't believe we've made it this long. I'm, I'm so grateful and excited. It, it, was a, it was a long time. A lot of people without work for a long time. So I'm, I'm excited about my actor friends getting a job and about people coming back to New York City. How long did you spend their money? How, how yeah. long did you were you on that run in Hamilton? How long was that in total for you? Uh, it was a couple of years. Uh, I was on in the Broadway show for a little over a year, but we had you know we were at the public downtown. We were we were doing a workshop. It was it was a good a good chunk of time to give birth to a show that I love. So she's got her Tony Award, <laughs> and um, is there is that the one that's that has the. I don't want to say that we, you would never brag about, but would be the one that you'd want to brag about the most out of all of them. You already have it. So, but I'm just thinking of all the awards. Isn't that the, the really cool one? Yes. <laughs> Sarah, well, you would agree, Sarah. Yes, Maybe. I completely I agree. And if she doesn't have that within arm's reach right now, I mean, I'm looking at her in the room. Like, I'm like, you should keep what? that with you. I keep, cause she also has a Grammy. Um, I, I finally got a Grammy and I keep it with me. I'm, I'm traveling right now, so I didn't pack it with me. But every interview I ever do on camera, that shit's in the background. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, congratulations on all of your success. Girls 5 Ever. It's now streaming on Peacock. Uh, why, why, why do you think, Sarah, this got 100% on Rotten Tomatoes? I think the love with which it was made resonated. I think it was really a brainchild of people who bring Meredith Scardino, Tina Fey, Jeff Richmond, mm. Robert Carlock. Oh These are people who really adore each other and gave birth to something that is um, funny and heart forward and female forward and sort of celebrating the perfectly imperfectness of, of women of a certain age. And it's got music and choreography and costume changes and and we really loved each other on set it was it was so much fun to make this show and i think that might be part of what's translating is that there was a genuine love on set i want to play a little clip because there is a soundtrack that is out now too you can hear the music listen to lyrics <laughs>
Renee, your character has that uh, that bug to go solo. Tell us about your character. <laughs> My character is what uh, well, she, she sees like Diana Ross, Beyonce, Whitney Houston. She sees them all and she thinks something went crazy wrong because she thinks she has an entitled to be that. So but I think she handled her one shot at fame so horribly that uh, she she's the least successful of all of them. And the miracles that she gets, a, she gets a second chance. She's, I think, forgivable because I, we can all relate to how it would feel to have a huge dream that is cancerous in us because we have not been able to launch it. I think we can all relate to that. And I think she starts the series recognizing that uh, her mistakes are probably because she didn't see anybody but herself. <laughs> and, uh, and so I think we will go along a journey with her trying to figure out how to love somebody else. I think we, I think we do that because she's pretty funny. And every time she makes a mistake, she gets so busted for it. <laughs> it's a little easier to, to pal it. <laughs> <laughs> it's 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 so exciting to see you guys working together and of course a project with Tina is always hysterical and the layers of talent that both you Renee and Sarah have are really remarkable we appreciate it all and just love that you took the time to chat with us and good luck with this it's going to be really fun it's on Peacock that is the streaming service Peacock check it out if you don't have it get it and you can listen to all the soundtrack all those lyrics as well thanks for coming on Sarah and Renee thanks Thank you guys See you guys. Bye. Bye. Good luck with all the awards. Bye. Good luck with the EGOTs. Good luck with all of them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>